How's it going everyone? Today I'm very happy because the channel recently hit 20 subscribers. So to celebrate that, I bring you guys this awesome bang for the buck gaming PC build. With the new NVIDIA RTX 3000 series out and the AMD's big navy GPUs and Zen 3 CPUs around the corner, I thought it would be a good idea to bring a more balanced price to performance PC for your 1080p gaming. As you can see, these are the parts that I picked, with the CPU and GPU being from the second hand market which for the usual hardware pricing where I live, these are pretty good deals. So for the motherboard, I went with the MSI B450M Pro VDH Max, since it offers all the basic features you need at a good price. The CPU I got is the Ryzen 3 2200G, a 4-core, four 4-thread four APU that performs quite good for less than $70. And it also includes a decent stock cooler to save you some money. The most expensive part of the system is the Sapphire RX 590 Nitro, and this car will run pretty much any game you throw at it. Great GPU if you can find a good deal. For storage, I went with 128GB of SATA SSD from Silicon Power and a Seagate Barracuda 1TB hard drive for your games and media. For the RAM, I couldn't find any fast RAM in stock for a good price, so I had to settle this time with 8GB of DDR4 2400MHz from Crucial. Definitely a slow RAM for Ryzen, so I really recommend you get at least a 3000MHz kit. Powering the system, we have the Cooler Master MWE Bronze 550W with an 80 plus bronze efficiency rating. It has ugly cables and it's not modular, but that didn't really fit in the budget, so this will get the job done. And finally, the case that will be housing all of this juicy hardware is the Aerocool Cylon Mini. The looks are definitely better than its airflow, but it was on sale, so it helped to save some money. A better alternative for airflow would be the Deepcool Matrix 30. I'll leave a link in the video description if you want to check it out. So with all the components ready, all it's left to do is to put it together. So here I leave you the time lapse of the build. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments, check the description for the links to all the parts and some good alternatives. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you for your next build. Take care guys.